Hi everyone. Just a quick note, I had to re-upload the video. There were some issues with the previous version. So here it is again. All right, enjoy. What's up everyone? This is Daniel Babum here. I wanted to do a, uh, once again, a short little overview or walkthrough video, this time of uh, a small piece I did for a film logo. Uh, a bit of a Hollywood sound to that. So I'm just going to play through it and then dissect it a little bit, see what's going on. All right. All right. That's a very traditional sounding thing there. Almost kind of, you know, universal I'm not gonna say Universal Studios quality but something you know that kind of reminds me of that and uh, let's just see a little bit what's going on here we have a little bit of woodwinds you know I don't use a lot of woodwinds because I don't have any good sounding woodwinds unfortunately I haven't bought any yet I'm still using the old East West Symphonic Orchestra gold here um so yeah that's what I'm using and then I'm just kind of lazy using things there because yeah haven't really bought anything yet. Maybe Berlin Woodwinds is coming up. Who knows? So we have a few flutes, bass clarinets, clarinets. Then we got the strings coming on, harmonics, you know, legato, spiccato, and so on. So I figured we could just uh, go through a few things. Let's see what the short strings are doing here. Love those. You know, I just play them and let's see, we don't have any, it's no modulation, anything, just a curve of the expression going from kind of soft to a little bit louder here. Together with the flutes, I'm pretty sure they are playing the same thing. Yeah, and then you have the violas to the right doing. Um, another part there. Um, okay, they're doing that. That's kind of cool, you know, to create a little bit of a drive. Uh, reverb wise on this, it's pretty much the same on everything. It's a space designer, some long tail, and then some more room reverbs in the same reverb. Um, let's see here. The beautiful bass clarinet to clarinet. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Hmm. Sounds like a million bucks. So, yeah, that's why I'm not using them a lot. Of course, they are still great woodwinds. You can manipulate them a lot. I'm too lazy for that. We have some harmonics also. Cinematic studio strings just to create a little bit of, you know, atmosphere in the intro with this. You can, you know, barely pick them up on the left. The the gato strings. What's going on here? Sounds pretty okay. I didn't have that much time doing this, you know, half a day, a few hours, and so orchestrationally, some things may be a little off. Um, but yeah, also Cinematic Studio strings going on there, and we have some, well, let's check if they're doing something first with the mod wheel, anything specific. No, not much. Because these strings already sound so great, you don't have to do a whole lot with them. Right, and then we have the second half. After the French horn melody, we got the melody and the vi violins. So then we have the doubling. And the octaves.
Yeah, those were nice. And let's see what's going on. Oops. Yeah, I get that nice attack on that one. Um, moving on. Uh, I got some, just some synth bass to fatten it up. Oh, I can barely hear it. <laughs> there it was. From Juggernaut. And we got some Mercado strings from, uh, freebie strings from uh, performance samples. I think coming in pretty loud. Yeah, I really like those for the attack. They're pretty close uh, in the room too, so it so it gives a nice, uh, yeah, nice attack on that. Um, bit of the percussion. We got intro boom. Not much to that. Let's see what we got here. Okay, a uh, gong from Majestica, Edio, and then what else is happening here? Alright, so some symbol roll, symbol crashes, piatti, crescendo, what is it? The timpani roll, probably. Yeah. Alright. Pretty easy, just, you know, accentuating the wherever I would want it on the downbeat. Moving on to the brass, we have um, cinebrass, I think. Very low modulation on that, not too loud. And then I'm doubling that with sample modeling French horn. A solo horn. It just gives it a little bit more of a live feel, you know, it doesn't sound perfect. A little bit detuned, I think on purpose I even uh, detuned it a little bit here, the master, slightly, because they're not perfect, I mean, they're human, that's what it's supposed to sound like at least. Um, we got the trombones from also uh, sample modeling. Yeah, they get a really sharp, you know, expression when you're pushing it. And for that, I'm using the reverb, you know, to wrap around it is also in Space Designer. It's a preset Todd AO um, that you can download. And um, yeah, without it, you know, it's really, really dry. Let's bring it down here. Gives it a nice hall sound. Or more like a stage sound that you're in a recording studio. Okay, they're doing that. We have, after that, some trumpets, I think, and... Nice and <laughs> short there, a bit jumpy. What is this? Angry trombones, angry trombones. It's from um, um, performance samples, also the freebie. I don't know why I had to shorten them like that. It's a bit choppy, but they sound great in the mix. Sample modeling trumpets. And then we have trailer horns, you know, so we have a lot. Let's see, it's not... Yeah, they are the only French horns coming in, but you have like an ensemble of, what is it, 10 horns in this, so it's not really that realistic, but, you know, you could fake it, double it a few times.
Sounds pretty cool. So you're dumbling there the, the sample modeling with a little bit closer sound. I mean, smaller, kind of tighter, even if it's in a hall sound. Angry trombones a little bit bigger, and then the mega brass with, and also with this, the horde. Pretend. It's like a pretend tuba. And did I already play these? So you have to do a little bit of mod wheel with this to, to make it, at least I did. Maybe you don't have to. Maybe it would have sounded even better without it, but I did that for some reason. I like it, could be better, but I like it. And then here, just for fun, I got the recommendation from Ashton Gleckman to use, this is a recording of John Cage, the 433 piece, that's just silence. So it creates more atmosphere. It sounds like, you know, you're sitting there in the room. So you add that, just for a little bit of extra atmosphere in the overall track. Um... I don't know, I think that's pretty much it. Let's just see again. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Not sure if there's anything else to go through. We've got the shorts, the legatos, the brass, the percussion. Uh, is there anything doing anything special? I don't know. I don't think so. No, I think it's just, you know, you start here with the French horns in the beginning. Creating the melody, uh, and then you keep going. You take over now the violins, or continue your melody, and then you wrap it up. French horns again. Dun, dun, dun. That typical, you know, Hollywood sound with that. That's what they wanted. They were happy with it, and yeah, I was very happy how it turned out. So just one last time, and that'll be it. Right, that's all, folks. And also, yeah, this was done in Logic 9, as you can see, I think about a half a year ago, until I upgraded to Logic 10. Um, all right, cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.